here with Hannah Moore from NC State. Uh, made it back to the final in the 203 tonight, and yes, that's a little bit short for Hannah. Explain what you're doing here at Nationals this weekend. So, my coach entered me in some different events. Nothing more than a 200 this meet, which, you know, is a little, little different for me. Um, you know, I'm not used to doing anything less than a 400, so... Uh, we kind of wanted to enter some different events, and it's always fun to come, you know, cop some best times. I've gotten two lifetime bests, so that's always fun, and it's a little confidence booster, but he likes to put me in some situations that are challenging and kind of help me grow as a swimmer so that at the end of the year, you know, I'm better. So, small group. You and Rachel and yes. one coach. Yes. What, what, what's up with that? There's bringing a very small group here now. Yeah, you know, our team, um, we had an invite two weeks ago. A lot of people put suits on for that, came down for that. So um, we had a lot of people go some really good swims there. So a lot of people didn't feel like they needed to come here because they performed really well. Um, plus, we're in the middle of finals week. So lots of studying to yep. do. Oh, yes, the, the, the fun <laughs> part of finals. Um, so you've been swimming pretty well. Uh, coming back from um, from Olympic trials, we, we, we made two finals, right? Uh, yes, I did. So, did that, did that kind of give you a confidence booster coming into this junior year? Definitely did. Um, I had a dream of making you know the national team for mm -hmm. a long time, and to end up doing that at U.S. Open this summer was yeah. really big for me, and it kind of did propel me into this season, you know, with more confidence in the distance events. And I'm really excited for the end of the year, and I know that not suiting up for those events right now will pay off in the end. Yeah. And I can't wait to do those events in February and March. So swimming really, really well uh, in your events at, through, through the dual meet season in the fall. Uh, getting to, being able to beat Sierra Lundy like you did at, when you guys swam with Wisconsin and, and swimming so well against Duke and at the invite, and, where is that coming from? Why, how is it you're swimming so fast so consistently? Um, I think a lot of it has to do with, one, my coach's training style. Um, I've adjusted over the past year, gotten used to it. Um, really like what we do every day and I think a lot of it has to do with the training group that I'm in. Um, we train boys and girls together and um, it works really well. There's always boys to chase, you know, run down, it's, it's exciting. Like Anton? <laughs> yes, like Anton. Um, he's an incredible swimmer and um, getting to train around people like that every day, it just kind of like rubs off on you and it's like if you surround yourself with great people, it's like, you're going to be great too. So. Yeah. Um, so what are the vibes around the women's team? Obviously a big breakout getting top 10 last year and really looks like a, a deeper team all around this year. What have you seen from, from your teammates and what are you kind of expecting moving forward? Well, we definitely, we lost some key players last year, but I really think that um, the coaching staff did a great job bringing in girls who fill those roles really well. And I think that... If our whole entire team steps up the way we need to, we can do some big things come February. So, how do you, how does the girls team and the guys team, even when you don't compete at the same time, kind of bounce off each other and use that momentum? Oh, the, the men's team supports the women's team so much. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we had that Duke meet, yeah. and they weren't even swimming, and they all drove there, and they just created such a great atmosphere. And you know, we didn't even ask them to do that, and. They show a lot of respect for us, and yeah. we kind of help support each other, and it works really well. So even though we're not like technically the same team, we're, we're all a big family. So. Pump for ACC season? Oh my gosh, yes. I can't wait. This year, I think I might taper a little more, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Anna Moore, thanks so much. Congrats. Thank you.